hello hello and welcome back to my channel friends so today we are going to be reviewing my second favorite type of clothing first we have gym wear and secondly we have bathing suits and i'm going to be reviewing the 2022 swim collection from buff bunny and you guys i'm so excited i have tried these on and been trying them out all week and i just can't wait to give you my honest review so don't forget to subscribe follow me on instagram at jinso fit and let's get started all right friends so this is the sim collection these pieces do launch saturday february 19th at 1 p.m central time 2 p.m eastern standard time my support code is jinso fit if you decide to support me so let's get into it. We're gonna start with honestly one of my most favorite pieces from this whole collection. This is also a fan favorite on my Instagram. This is just an elegant, like good support, good coverage type of one piece bathing suit that we love to see. I feel like anybody who wears it is going to be the most confident they've ever felt. So this is the Venetian one piece. It is a one shouldered and it also has a removable strap that comes on the side as you can tell they have this right here it's this beautiful stretchy ribbed material and this is the color terracotta so when i wore this i did remove this strap because i found that the strap that came with it was just a little bit too like thin for me and it just dug into my shoulders in not a comfortable way so i did remove it but i still felt like i got great support in the right areas that i needed um when i didn't have my strap on it does have this cute little midsection cut out here and then this is like an att it's attached so you can adjust it the way that you want if you want it more in the front or more in the back you can do it and it has full coverage for all those people who don't want their cheeks out this is it and i just felt like this was the like most elegant bathing suit i felt like a rock star and i'll be honest but and this is also the terracotta color and they'll be releasing a lot of the bathing suits in this color all right so our next bathing suit is going to be the bermuda top and the shark bite version two bottoms the bermuda top is a new design for this swim collection in this print this just screams summer fun if there was a voice right this is beautiful i love this color i love a good neon moment um the back of it is has these straps which are beautiful and it also has the buff bunny logo on there as well i did find this to run a little bit bigger um because of this stretch it just doesn't give you that like full support but it is that ribbed material that we saw with the venetian yet again and it is very stretchy and they also have the removable cut pads in the um, brawl as well so these are the shark bite version 2 bottoms okay so these are just a revamp of the version ones that they've released before i found these to be a lot stretchier these rib material is so stretchy and then it has this little v in the back and i also felt like you could wear these reversible um i like the v being in the back just because it gives you that more of a contour on your booty i also feel like these are a little bit cheekier than the version ones but these are super stretchy and I also felt like the waistband up on the top here was very snug compared to the ones that were on this side. Like this has a top seam here and then the leggings or the legs don't. So I really did like that and it also has the buff bunny on this side. So if you wear it back or front, you're still going to have that cute little, little logo. But I felt like these were very stretchy. So then I'm going to go over the version one and I got these in the bossy print, which we love such as buff bunny staple. We love it. So I felt like these were a lot tighter. There's not a lot of stretch in them and they have more of a compression feel than these ones do. I felt like these ones really held me in and kept me like comfortable and these ones just feel very compressive and more pushed back. These are both a large and I'm just going to do a little comparison here for you so you can see. So these are lined up here and there's still a good amount of like fabric maybe like an inch or so um of fabric that you're gonna get on the sides that's been cut off but i also feel like this is so stretchy but the top band is not okay it's still gonna be stretchy but it holds you in really well i feel like it's gonna stay up really well in the water um, I did feel like the version ones were just a little bit cheekier on me and I noticed that on the back like this rolled down a lot for me so like the v-cut rolled down but I did like these but I would say that if you're going to choose between the version one and the version two of the shark bite I would definitely go with the version two I just like this rib material better for swim um, but also I just feel like it's stretchier and it held me in better this was so if you're wanting more compressive size up in these ones um but they're gonna be more compressive in my opinion see that we're gonna do is totally my style this is the type of bathing suit that i would look for when i went to the store and 
like I said, right up my alley. We love it. This is the Surfside top. Um, it does have this beautiful like string detail in the back and this string is extra long. So just be careful. Um, that would be my only critique that this string is so long. It just gets stuck everywhere. But I feel like it does look intimidating to put on. Once I kind of like adjusted these, stretched them out a little bit, put it on, got myself adjusted. I've taken it off three or four times now and I have not had to adjust this at all just tighten the bottoms and you are good to go so there's also going to be a one piece that will be released and it's the shark bite um one piece and it's actually the um surf side top and then the um shark bite bottoms and it's just attached this is going to be a beautiful one piece but it is going to be cheeky I just wanted to note it in there that it's going to also be releasing and it kind of looks intimidating because of course one pieces can be a little bit hard to manage to put on, but put the bottoms on first, put this over. Just make sure you adjust this before you put it on. Um, but this is definitely my style. I found it to be super compressive and high support um, on my chest, but I did notice just a little bit that I had a little bit of rolling um, where it just kind of like the black rolled up. So that would be my only critique. And you do have the Buff Bunny um, logo and stuff on the strings. So then I, I went ahead and put, this would be like my ideal swimsuit, okay? We have the Surfside top, but then we have the Santorine bottoms, okay? And these are my sexy, like, I just, this is my style. I love the detail on these. So it's just your, these are black, the Onyx black. They do have this string on this side, okay? Look at it. You can adjust this to how you want. If you want more skin, less skin, this is all adjustable to you and your body. Um, I didn't feel like you could wear these like back to front or front to back. I just feel like they would be one way, but they're so cute. You have the Buff Bunny logo on the back, and then you also have the detail on the strings as well. But these are just, I'm sorry, these are just a staple piece for me, and this is my style. So these are ones that I would definitely like recommend, especially if you want something with coverage, but a little bit of sassiness, a little bit of sassiness. That right there is cute, okay? Awesome, awesome, one of my favorites for sure. All right, so let's get in to the cheekier part of this collection. People love a sun's out, bun's out moment in the summer, and these are gonna be the pieces that you're gonna wanna reach for, okay? So I'm gonna start with the Chasing Waterfall bikini top and bottom. This is just your classic high leg bikini bottom. It does have the Buff Bunny decal on the side. So this is the back and this is the front. I wore them back to front so i just like to have more coverage in the front um i do feel like if i would have sized up to an extra large i would have felt more comfortable i just felt like these pulled out a little too much gave me a little bit of like push that i didn't necessarily like but i do like these and i like the fit on these i just wish that i would have sized up to an extra large for a little bit more comfort coverage and a little bit more room um, but they can be worn front to back back to front and then this is the top, and this is the lavender bossy print, which, like I said, the bossy print is just a vibe, okay? But Bunny knows what they're doing with this. This is the lavender. This is the front. This is the back. I do feel like you get a little bit of under boob moment, but not something that, like, is going to give you a heart attack, okay? Super cute and just a classic, a classic bikini moment. And the last bikini that we go over, and this is going to be the Santorine top which is wearable 12 ways okay so it does have these little triangles here i was wearing it like this here but you can also wear it where this goes around you and this comes up top but it's wearable 12 ways um i myself tried to do it at least five ways and i'm just not good at geometry but there is like a little list on the buff bunny website that shows you all the ways that it could be worn I did see in some of the models that this could go around you and tie in the back. This is a size large and it did not fit all the way around me like that. Um, so I will note that. But I do love this. I didn't. So these last ones here are the Sun Kiss Bikini Bottoms. These are going to be your most cheeky um, bathing suit bottoms that you have. They have this string on this side that is adjustable. And you have the Buff Bunny logo on the string as well. Um, pretty basic. I did not try these out in the water. I would think you would be okay, um, but they probably are a little see-through, so just be careful if you get the white ones, but I didn't try them in water. Wrap skirt, and this is a size large. It is a cover-up, so you do have it like this. It has a slit in the side here, and then it ties in the front however you like. You can just tie it 
however. Um, I did like this. I will say it isn't, um, you can wear it out, but I would say that's a little bit sheer, so don't like, you know, don't go like wearing a bright that and then bright. i do have the flow shorts on so i got an extra large in the flow shorts because anytime i get shorts like this i always feel like they run so small so i went ahead and sized up to an extra large could have stayed with my large they do have the liner on the inside that is a short round of applause there we love when there's a short liner i don't like thong liners especially in shorts like this i want coverage i want to feel protected um they do have that i feel like if i would have stick to a large i would have been good but i also feel like i could have sized down to a medium with how the fabric is this outside here is very flowy so i just feel like you get a lot of space with that and it can be very like you could definitely have sized so up. So that is everything uh, that I have for the swim collection. This will be launching February 19th, 1 p.m. Central Time, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. My support My code is GenSoFit. That just lets them know that you value me, and it also goes to support me directly, which I am so appreciative of the opportunities I've been given. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And just remember, you are badass worthy in love, baby.